530 casinos and slot parlors have brought jobs and tourism to rural, rural Connecticut, Newport and Lincoln. And now hoping for an economic turnaround, Fall River is considering adding a casino. Eyewitness News reporter Nick and Wosu joins us now live with a story from the mobile newsroom. Well, Aaron, Fall River's new mayor, William Flanagan, says he's looking into several different options to improve the city's economic situation. Possibly building a casino is just one gamble he's willing to take. Nearly one in five Fall River residents are unemployed. Frustrated, the city elected a new mayor they hope will make things better. Within days of his win, Mayor William Flanagan met with representatives of the Mashpee Wampanoag tribe about the possibility of bringing a casino to the city. Well, the city of Fall River has the second highest unemployment rate in the Commonwealth, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Over 16% of our population is unemployed at this time. So to bring casino gaming into Fall River is a possibility of bringing in jobs uh, and bringing in a source of revenue to our city. The tribe currently has a deal to build a casino in the town of Middleborough. But that deal is contingent on the proposed casino land being taken into trust. Flanagan says the city and the tribe have discussed several locations in Fall River, but would not specify, saying that they haven't laid out all the cards. He also hopes to have discussions with residents who are for and against a city casino before he rolls the dice. Some people are under the impression that uh, casino gaming may uh, cause an increase in crime or may uh, cause an increase in addiction to gaming. Uh, so those are ideas that we have to keep in mind. Now, the state of Massachusetts currently does not allow casino gaming, but the state legislature is expected to revisit the topic in a few months. Live with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Nick Anwosu, Eyewitness News.